All right, check it out. We're going to watch a video that says Spliff D says King Little G fell off. This is coming from the food community. Shout out to the food community. Uh, the homie, uh, rich homie Juan, I think he's making a comeback because he's dropping video after video after video. Uh, he's cool. I like him. As a matter of fact, I was watching one of his videos earlier and uh, he was interviewing somebody and they were trying to make excuses and right away, he switched, he told the guy and switched it up. Hey, bro, cut the excuses. Cut the excuses. And I like that because he's like, don't add, don't lie, be straight up. And uh, I like that. So I was like, okay, now, now I'm reminded of why that was cool. You know, but let's go ahead and play this video. Spliff D says King Little G fell off. Who? Oh, man, I got to say this, bro. Don't be mad at me, bro. Come on. I'm, and I love you, bro. But you just not dropping the same type of music that you that you used to drop. You know what I'm saying? Like Kennedy, nigga. When I heard Kennedy, bro, nigga, I was like, man, who is this dude spitting, man? Kennedy, Sp Dom Kennedy? No, nah, not Dom Kennedy. Uh, the song called Kennedy. Oh, it's called Kennedy. It's Ooh, called Kennedy. Yeah, who we talking about? Hold up, man. Hopeless, hopeless boy, man. You feel me? Them like them was songs that. I said, man, I could, I could, I could close my eyes and feel the pain, and now it just ain't the same. King Le G, bro. Mm. Usually, when people say you fell off, and it's not the same, it's because you gain money, and you finally want to enjoy some of that money, right? Think about it, bro. King Little G's been grinding since like two thousand two, right? Finally, he saw real money in 2016, 2017, 2018. He started getting real money, right? Like real money, like M's, bro, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So maybe he stopped making music because it's like, let me enjoy some of my money. Let me, let me, you know, let me spend some of it. Let me, let me, let me be free for, a, you know, a couple of years. Because look how quick he came back with DJ Flip. Look how fast he came back with DJ Flip. So he got it. He got it, bro. He got it, right? That goes to show you that he's an artist and not just a one-hit wonder. One-hit wonders are the ones that just come drop one song and leave and never do nothing again. So King Little G took a break for a couple of years. And now he dropping music again. And they're going up again. All right. So let's go. Oh, Real King talk. Lil G. King Lil G, man. He ain't the same King Lil G. He ain't. Mm. Ain't no mm. You got to agree with this, man. <laughs> you going to roll with me on this one. We both going to take this flat, Jack. I know he dropped that freestyle and that kind of stirred shit back up. Like, cause like, what like, freestyle, bro? Ah, it was man, don't like, be lying to these bro. No, I'm dead. Don't be lying to these bro. Ain't, no, saying, ain't no freestyle to King Legit drop yeah. that just had, had me saying, "I'm." Uh, check it. me out. Check me out. Like, uh, it, like, cause they were saying Chicano rap is dead. Like, probably like a year and. But a half you know ago. something? I hate when they and say then Chicano he rap. That freestyle. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not say Ch Ch Chicano no, that's rap, what, bro. That's what they were saying. But that, Chicano is not called Chicano rap, bro. That was the headline. You feel me? That's what S somebody. No, oh, it was the that, headline. That, that it said the, Chicano. Rap. Chicano rap is dead. It's been dead. I revived it, and I revived all these fucking forklift drivers all right chicano rap has been dead it has been dead since capone stopped when capone capone was the last chicano rapper bro capone e was the last chicano rapper when high power records dismantled that's when it died that's when it died criminalias tried to do something but that fool was too dumb to run the business but when capone e dismantled the high power group that's when it died because uh, low profile records had already been dead, and I don't mean dead in the in the way of of they're not making money. I mean it in the way of them not dropping you no know, more music. You know, they might drop a song here or there, but it doesn't have an impact. What makes an impact on on like low pro and Southland is like the records from the early two thousands. They're still making money off of that, but if they drop a record right now, it ain't gonna go up because nobody cares about it no more. They care about the peso. The, the the Chito Ranas, the Grave Digger, they care about the uh, about the uh, money sign sway. That's what they care about. All right. So Chicano rap is alive, 
but it's stuck in the 90s. It's stuck in the 2000s. It's stuck there. It's always going to be stuck there. All right. They're always going to have that era of great music from, you know, 90, what, 97, 96 to like 2009. That's it. You feel me? Uh, so Chicano rap was dead. But then when I started to mention it and bring up all these fools names and stuff like that, that's when all these Chicano rappers came out of retirement to think to do it again. You know, and I regret doing that. Johnny L 909. Ain't nobody looking for the for Mr. Nalgas, bro. Trust me. Go look at his latest song. It probably got like 40 watches, 40 views on it. But let's go. Rap is dead. All right, listen, yeah. I, I want to say something real quick, bro. Chicano is not Chicano rap. All the Mexicans did. When the blacks left gangster rap alone, the Mexicans picked it up. That's all it is, bro. Because you look at Chicano rappers, they out the the beats and the cadence is gangster rap. Point blank period, bro. G Funk a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah G Funk, yeah. Huh? I agree with that. Yeah. 100%. I hate when people say that's Chicano I, rap. That's, that's where I think Chicano rap is. Yeah. Know? I hate when people say that. Yeah. But go ahead. I'm you listening. know, and a lot of people get that misconstrued with Chicano rap. They think Chicano rap the genre and then they think rappers were Chicano. You yeah. feel me? So when people say they give their top five Chicano rappers, they're really yeah. talking about the genre. They're not talking about just rappers who are Latino. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm hmm Facts. What nah, you say though? I was saying that he had dropped that freestyle and that wasn't even that long ago. Like and stirred a lot of up. Like motherfuckers really was like, you know what? Like I'm the hardest. You know what I'm saying? Not King Lil G. Like he really kind of ignited a fire. You feel me? Oh no, 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 no. I'ma say this. And that bro. was recent. So I'ma say this, bro. It, it really right now. Black or Mexican, uh, and I said this before, bro. You name a black rapper that can pack out the Hollywood Bowl besides Nipsey Hussle, Kendrick, and the, and the usual suspects. Name one that can pack it out. You mm. can't. I'm telling you right now, you can't. But King Lil G did. So that's fire, bro. That is fire. Who who did I listen to? And they were trying to say that King Little G was nobody or what who was it? There was a rapper out. I forgot what rapper it was. He was trying to discredit King Little G. Uh who who the fuck was it? Shit, I forgot. I forgot. Let's keep going. When he say he probably in that freestyle, when he was popping it, mm -hmm. that's why he was popping You name a West Coast rapper right now besides Kendrick and YG that can go on a nationwide tour by themselves and not, pity, and not piggybacking mm -hmm. off no one. Right. Who? Name one. None of them can. Black or Mexican. But King Lil G can. So that's why he pop it. Mm. Is he making the music that I want to listen to right now? No, he's not. But he's still there. Mm. Even in 2024. So what would you say that he fell off then? If you're saying that he's still that guy, he can travel anywhere in the world and do music. It's just currently he's not making music you like. Why would you say he fell off? Why would you say he fell off? It just makes no sense. Somebody says Spliff looks like he's on Scante. It sounds like he's on Scante. And you know what? We don't call it Scante, my boy. We call it Scanty. All right? <laughs> he's on Scanty. Let's go. Four. Yes. Mm. I, wit I witnessed it. I went to the House of Blues in Vegas. Packed. Sold out. Because of King Lil G. Real talk. Shout out to everybody else. Shout out to Mr. Criminal. There ain't no disrespect. Shout out to Mr. Criminal. Shout out to Yellow Hill. Shout Man, get this fucking guy out of here, homie. Who invited this guy? Who asked me to click on this, homie? Again? Somebody? Who asked me to click on this? I'm about to, I'm about to block you, my boy. Whoever asked me to click on this is going to get blocked. I'm waiting for somebody to raise their hand.
And if somebody don't raise their hand, I'm blocking a random person. All right? If somebody don't raise their hand and say, hey, fool, I asked you to watch this. I'm blocking a random person. So think about it. Because if not, some randos going to get blocked. And I already got my eye on somebody, homie. <laughs> I already got my eye on somebody, bro. So somebody better start pointing fingers, my boy. Somebody better start pointing fingers. Hard living life says, it was you, fool. Oh, now you're being a rat. You got to go, my boy. You got to go. We got to get rid of the rats. Hard living life. You got to go. Put user in timeout. 30 minutes. Get out of here, fool. Why are you ratting on me for, fool? Why are you snitching on me, my boy? There. I just blocked hard living life because he pointed the finger at me. You got to go, my boy. Not the young drummer boy, but people... That was a test, fool, and you failed. That was a test, and you failed. No rats allowed. I wanted to see King Lil G. Mm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So he's still him. Don't get it twisted. He's still him, bro. Bro, come on, bro. <sighs> even I even when even we talk this money talk. Who out there got that money like that? This man staying the, on the in the hills, bro. You feel me? Everybody else staying in mother. Uh 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 O C I E. They gotta go find a cheap house. You feel me? This man in the hills, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So even with that money talk, ain't nobody with him. So you saying he just fell off musically for your taste, like like it's just not intriguing you no more? Yeah. You ever seen that old interview when he was a young kid? It was like him. To my, to my Young dopey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy, right there, bro. That's shot to young dopey, man. Young dopey, too. I like young dopey, bro. And it, you know, something, yeah, when young dopey got, got out of prison, bro, that's how you're supposed to get out of prison changed, not just you got to be talking and living it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he, he's been doing, bro. So, shout, shout out to the homie. But go go ahead. I just had, I had yeah, no, I was just I was just remembering that like when I think of King Lil G, I think of OG too. Like Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that shit just pop up in my head, you feel me? So who who else though? Who man, else that, you think fell? And that's when he was called Little G though. Mm. Yeah, wearing on pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was cool, man. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about now. I don't know what he's talking about now. All right. Uh King Lil G fell off. I don't think so. And not just because I like his music. I think he just took a break. And I think right now he's back at it again. I think right now he's ready to uh, to give it another go around, you know. And this is going to tell you whether he's a, a legendary artist or not. This is going to tell you whether he's a good artist. Because if he comes back around and starts dropping music and doesn't do nothing, like no numbers, doesn't tour, that tells you that he fell off. But if he can continue to go, right, and he does good again, that means that he's here to stay, bro. Because not too many artists can be hot, leave, and then come back. Usually when you leave, that's it. So we're going to tell based off of his new album that's about to drop. That's how you're going to know whether he's an artist to stay or an artist to go. Right? All right. With that being said, let me kill this, uh, this uh, reaction. Hold on.